Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here. This video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, and this time I'm going to be playing with the Ritual Beast deck that I did a profile on a couple of days back on my channel. Uh, now, see, oh, there's a combo. We can work with this, and we've already got a Steeds already. This is actually just really good. Uh, this is actually really, really strong. Uh, now, I expect my opponent, who is one of my Discord buddies, and if you're curious as to how to get onto my Discord server to be someone that I'm playing for these games, because um, this is literally what I'm doing, because I've literally got a server of like six people at this point and I just get on and I say hey who wants to play for videos and they're like me 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 whenever they're available um, and so like it's it's really convenient for me and it's also really cool because we just chat most of the other time um, about just random shit but if you're curious about that and how you could uh, get onto that sort of thing then you could definitely go and check out uh, my patreon page which there's a link to the description because it's uh, it's a reward tier thing uh, but basically I am about to fuck up um, we have already played a game, so I know that he is playing ABC, and the problem is, is that we ran into is that uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro servers crapped out on us while we were mid-match, and it corrupted my recording file. So, <laughs> uh, instead, we're doing this. Um, so, do I want Window or I want Penguin Vanish first? I definitely want the Penguin Vanish first, because I can bring the Penguin back and then get more stuff. Yeah, because uh, this has already been special. I started losing my mind for a second on uh, on what I'm trying to do because I can get a steed search here. What does this do? Special summon a monster from my hand. Do I even care? No. Uh, that effect is not relevant right now. At least I don't think it is. Um, if this was Winda, then it would be super relevant. Yes. Uh, but as it stands right now, I don't think it's relevant. Uh, but so we'll do this, and then this will allow me to tag out searching for. Since I've already got steeds, I'll get ambush first. Um, just so that I don't potentially, like, fuck something up. Because, I mean, while I'm commentating, it is very easy for me to possibly fuck something up. <laughs> this has been a uh, very commonplace bit of knowledge. Uh, well, well into the, uh, into the previous scope of, uh, of possibilities. But, what we're gonna do is, uh, Guy Peleo, and we're gonna send Winda, because we definitely want access to that card. And then from here... I'll be able to go into ulti Kona Hawk again, and I will be able to do some stuff. Um, so this could actually special this, but I mean, it, again, still I don't think it's relevant. I am almost positive that it's not, uh, strictly because, like, like I said, that's not Winda. If it was Winda, it would be very, very relevant. Or even if it was something like if it had been the Petalfin, or not the Petalfin, the Rampangu. Uh, but so what I want is I want this, and I want the. Uh, I want the Pilica back in my graveyard. And now I need to get access to a Peleo at some point, but at this point I'm pretty fine with what I've got access to. I can't tag this out, which kind of sucks, which means if it dies, it's going to be very hard to recur it. But I do have a rank 4 play off the ambush that I could do, as well as win being able to bring back Rampangu next turn. So I've got many play lines that I have access to. So ultimately, I don't think it's going to be too big of an inherent problem because I can always just make Digesto Emerald uh, with my stuff. So yeah, here's Terraforming and I expect there to be a Union Hanger because I expect him not to have changed decks uh, because I didn't. And so <laughs> I just told him to run back the uh, game so we could uh, so that we could actually record it from the top. Uh, but so from here, I don't know how he beats my board with the ABC deck because as soon as he makes like, as soon as he like summons anything like a Gadget or like uh, Thrasher and then the the A, B, or C monster, um, then, I mean, I can just Steeds it straight away, and his Union Hanger is not going to give him any value, uh, because I'll have removed it from the field uh, before anything crazy happens, right? Uh, so, Instant Fusion here, but that's, that's fine, because of the fact that, like, Union Hanger is just chilling, or I could just, I could easily Solemn Strike whatever he makes, um... And Union Hanger has already used its effect. It's already attempted to use its effect to equip, so it's not going to equip anything here. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty fine with with what we're dealing with here. At least I think so. <laughs> I could just be horribly wrong, um, but I'm going to be able to tag this out next turn if it survives on the board, uh, which it almost definitely will. I mean, I can easily just steeds. Uh, because it is a very, very small amount of defense. It's got 1,600, so it not being able to tag out here was kind of relevant, but at the same time, 
Uh, okay, so he's making Utopia, which uh, if he doesn't do anything with it, then I'm just going to not have to deal with it. Yeah? I mean, Utopia the Lightning isn't an out of this. I mean, then again, he does not know I have the second Steeds. Uh, so, I mean, there is that. You know what? I'm just going to stop it here. Um, I don't feel like waiting for him to summon Lightning. Uh, Soul Charge. Whoa! What a man! Soul Charge for one. Hmm. Well. <laughs> Okie dokie then. Um, so he's Soul Charging for that. And so after he summons his A back, I'm probably just going to Steeds it. I mean, let's be real. Um, because I could literally just Steeds this and his A will be banished. So it's quality removal. I'm going to start holding down A so that I can... Uh, so that I can access my ambush literally as soon as Enphase rolls around, and I will definitely do that so that I can start my turn with Lightning Chidori, so that's actually really good. Uh, but so this and Conahawk. That way I can start my turn with Conahawk and then have access to a rank 4 if I want it. Uh, that is strictly if I want it. Uh, but so we'll activate this, and I'm going to use this to get access to a Peleo, because I've already got another Tamer. Um, so I definitely want another, uh, I want another Ritual Beast, like, name. Uh, so there's that. And what I have access to here is I could actually just tag into, I could summon Win, get the Apelio back, and that's actually just, like, really good for me as far as, uh, as far as this goes. Uh, but what I can do here is I can actually go into Ulti Apelio, uh, just to be a big body on the board. Um, I do not want to use the Oracle of Zephra. Like, this is going to start baiting back row. Uh, this is literally all I'm doing here is baiting back row. So this, um, this is being activated, which I'm perfectly fine with just tagging this straight out back into the window and then back into, um, I really want the ult the Apelio in attack mode. So yeah, I'll get the Conahawk again just so I can get more resources fueling, uh, myself before I absolutely just cut myself off from these Conahawk searches. Um, so I've got a Conahawk search that I can establish. Um, I want access to Elder, is what I want here, and so from here now what I'm capable of doing is making Lightning Chidori, uh, and then being able to tag this out and bringing stuff back, so like this is, this is pretty good for me, uh, in the strict aspect of like, yeah, like it's just really good, um, but so yeah, Lightning Chidori here to get rid of his set that I do not know, and to get rid of the Union Hanger. Uh, so this is basically going to guarantee bait this set card, uh, whatever it is. And so, something I'm uh, something I'm very proud of is the fact that this deck can actually make rank fours now. That's actually just really, really good. Really, really good. If I do say so myself, it's something that's incredible. Uh, Solemn Strike, I mean, okay. That is technically less damage, so I guess. Um, so now we can activate this. Um, or what I could do is I could normal summon this, bring back my Peleo first, and then banish my Conahawk uh, so that so that I can actually uh, get full economic value out of this ulti Conahawk. So yeah, I'm going to banish the Conahawk strictly so that I can activate this, return to... And it will return this and return uh, Elder, which I haven't summoned yet. And then I can just immediately tag this thing out uh, for the Elder and for the Rampangu. And that way the Conalhawk will go back to Grave where it needs to stay. And I have already normal summoned this turn, but I can actually get something I haven't special summoned yet this turn, which is uh, Pilica. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't special Pilica this turn. I also have not specialed Win. Which means the win is on the board, so yeah, I guess I will just get Pelica. Because I can use this. Well, no, I can't because it has to be fused with the Zephyr Pelica. Never mind. Alright, so what I want is I just want Steeds, just for the backup plan. That's all I want. <laughs> That's all I want in life. Uh, but so, this is just game by itself, so we'll just, we'll get the ulti, uh, the ulti Conahawk back out in, uh, in attack mode. In fact, I could have just used the Petalfin. Uh, not the Petalfin, I keep calling this card Petalfin. The Rampangu, I could have used it to put a banish card and done that, but like it's there's no point. I mean it's game right now, so I don't I don't need to do that. 
<laughs> Such terrible justifications for my shitty play. But, at the same time, I am commentating, so I mean, hey. But, uh, yeah. Uh, this is game right here, so I am going to very likely, depending on how well he opens, lose the next game. Because ABC is a really hard matchup to deal with. Like, ABC is actually the matchup that I'd probably side deck, like, Ritual Beast Return for. Just because it's really good in that matchup, but, like, really only that matchup. Because, like, they banish your dude when you're trying to combo, and then you use Ritual Beast Return to, to bring it right back, and then you're like, gotcha. Uh, but otherwise, not really anything I'm too worried about. However, I did open the Raigeki. I've just now looked at the screen of which I am playing. And I've got Elder, and I've got Winda, which isn't really ideal. Oh my god, look at this hand. He has the Fusion Spell, the Thrasher, and the Gadget. This is so good for him. Uh, because what this allows him to do is that if he has another one of the A, B, or C monsters in his hand, he could have equipped C here, overlaid, specialed, and made two rank fours. Um, but as it stands, it looks like it's just going to be Sukiyomi plus a Floater, which by no stretch of the imagination is bad. I mean, it's by no stretch bad at all. Um, it's just going to be... Uh, okay, so these were two traps. So I've got to deal with two traps. <laughs> Whoa. Um, I've got to deal with those two traps. And I've got to deal with uh, with stuff. So he's going to go and deck then for that. So that's information that I have. I have information that he has another Thrasher in his hand. So I can justify certain plays and structure them accordingly. But if either of these is something like Solid Strike or Dimensional Barrier, then I'm just gonna lose, like, outright. Like, not even a debatable fact. Uh, but, so we're just gonna do this. And, uh, so what this'll do is this is actually gonna be really good for him. I actually didn't think this horribly through. Um, this Raigeki here, because of the hand that he had, especially with this gold gadget being here, is really good because he can just tag this out, get A, B, and C back, right? Everything is going to die. Well, no, it's actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It depends on if he has another monster in his hand, though. But he can summon... No, it is actually going to be just as bad as I thought it was going to be. Because he can tag these out into A, B, and C, right? Everything dies. So, Gold Gadget, uh, Gold Gadget, A, and B can trigger to add a monster back and search a monster. And then Gold Gadget will summon Silver Gadget. And then that Silver Gadget is going to be able to then immediately special the A, B, or C that is in his hand off of what he searched. If he structures like his playline right, even actually I don't even think he has a structure's playline right because I don't think Gold Gadget, Gold Gadget can miss timing or Silver Gadget can miss timing, uh, but he has it structured correctly at Gold Gadget being Chain Link One. At least I think that's what I just saw. Um, so, so that's the correct way to orient it if Gold Gadget is Chain Link One because then he can summon, he can summon Silver Gadget and then that'll special his A, B, or C from his hand and then Union Hanger will then activate. Like, this is just bad for me on all counts. And I haven't even played another card yet. I don't even know if these are, like, real. <laughs> That's the thing. I don't even know if these are real. Um, they could be real. I mean, I've seen enough of the cards that he plays to warrant knowing if things are real or not. Um, but so, the Elder comes down, and then the... Then the Petalfin comes down, because at least the Petalfin I can then use to try and uh, banish one of the back row. Or not banish, like, bounce it. And so if I bounce the back row... Um, then I will be able to, one, get this window out of my hand, which will allow me to do some play lines. Uh, but then also, it'll potentially deal with whatever this card is, as long as it's not Dimensional Barrier. Or Strike. If it's Strike, my Petalfin goes to Grave, and I have no turn. Damn it! It's Dimensional Barrier! <laughs> so he's just gonna call Fusion, and I have to end my turn. How fucking frustrating. <laughs> See? I told you, like, this is literally how this is gonna go. Um, it's gonna be literally me going, like, going first and winning, or going second and losing. Um, the Raigeki there was, like, the best going second card I could have, but, whoopsie, <laughs> didn't actually do anything with it. So, because, I mean, like, Jesus Christ, that Raigeki ended up being, like, a plus one for him, I think, in terms of the cards that he got. And he still could just go straight into ABC Dragon Buster, it doesn't even matter what happens here. Um, and he can punch over this Pedalfin for 5k with Utopia the Lightning. So, ugh. Ugh! God, that's not a good feeling. Yeah. I don't even know why people play this card anymore. I mean, having two, like, having four materials on Utopia Lightning is cool, but like, eh. I guess I can see it in this deck, but I see people trying to fit it in 
in the zoo. And I was like, huh, that's not justifiable. But, this is literally just a game. Um, so, I'm just going to let him kill me. Just because I don't like pressing this button. Because that means I admit defeat in my heart. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just doing it because I want to see, like, if, if, you, if you don't scoop, your opponent might mess up. Like, it's really hard to mess up on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro. Because the prompts come up. But... I mean, in real life play, it's a good uh, it's a good example to have to not just mindlessly scoop when you think you're gonna lose because your opponent might just fuck up. Um, and like I've seen a plenty of games punted in top cut of events because people just messed up when they had game on board and they just messed up. <laughs> it was just like, oh god, what? Uh, but so I get to go first here. So if I open any form of combo. Which I have, <laughs> then it's gonna be just really good. Um, and I've already got the window. Damn, that was actually just really good. Um, so I can normal summon this. I can use this. I've got to use this to banish a tamer. And the tamer I'm going to banish is gonna be Winda, because I'm going to then E Telly into mm, Elder. Yeah, Elder. Uh, I'd rather I'd rather like get the Loras and stuff out of the deck through a different uh, methodology, but from here we are going to tag these in to the corner hook. Yes, yes. Uh, and then these are going to be putting back cards. So what I'm going to do is target the corner hook and the elder, and then I'm going to tag this out. Man, every time I play this deck, it's just reminding me of how much cancer it was trying to play this deck on, like, Dueling Network, because you had to type everything out. You had to go, effect, target, this, and this, and then tag out effect. Um, it was it was pretty bad. It was uh, not what I would consider something that I would call remotely ideal. Uh, however, so what I can do here is that I can... Uh, is that I can use this again. I'm, I'm tripping balls. Um, I need to banish another um, another something. Uh, it's probably going to be a Pelio. Maybe? I don't know. Uh, a Pelio or... No, a Pelio can get foolished. Because um, I want to bring that back off Ambush. So, yeah. It's going to be Pedalton. Damn it! I keep calling this card Pedalton. This is Ram Pangu. It is the penguin that is also... I don't know. Cody Maverick. Surf's up. Let's go. Um... But, uh, so, fight me. So, let's see. Ulti Conahawk comes down, meaning that I can use this, and I can put back, um, I can put the, uh, the Rampangu and the Winda engrave, and I can then use that to search for another Steeds, just so I give him the information that I've got one, and then I can Foolish Burial here for the Apelio, which is going to be super important, because I'm going to ambush the Apelio and the Winda back, Literally at, like, the start of my turn. Um, just so that, like... I mean, I could, like, get raigeki but Winda is inherently really strong against Raigeki anyway. So, not really something I'm too worried about. And then the Apelio will immediately banish uh, the Elder that's in Grave. Uh, so that my Conahawk can tag out into, uh, into Elder Conahawk. Uh, depending on what needs to happen. Also, just having the Conawk have this huge defense is actually just really good. Um, but I did just put myself in a position where I could lose the Twin Twister. So, hoping that doesn't end up be the case. But, we can always find out how this is going to go. So, from here, he's using A. Uh, the Union Hanger is triggering. I'm going to activate a Steeds and, uh, and get rid of this only. I wish Winda triggered regardless of who destroyed it. Like, this card could have been so much better and made Ritual Beasts a much better, like, revolving mechanic um, if this card had been, like, when this card is destroyed in your possession by any battle or any card effect. Um, damn, Soul Charge again. I mean, shit, man. <laughs> Smoke him if you got him, but okay. Soul Charge for one, yet again. Curious. Curious indeed. Soul charging for one. Setting a card. End of main phase. End phase. I'm going to tag this out. Because now at this point, I literally don't see myself losing this game in any way, shape, or form. 
because holy shit. And I drew another elder. I was gonna search this card, but I still don't think it matters. Okay. That's so simple. What'd you call? You called fusion? That's so easy. Yeah, sure. I get to pump to be bigger than you. That's so simple. I can actually just lightning to this. Pump to be bigger. Normal summon, normal summon. Um, God damn. This has actually worked so heavily in my favor. Let's see. I need to do some math. We're going to activate this. One. And banish this. Right? And so from here, I can turn... I'm going to turn literally everything to attack mode. I've got a steeds. What am I afraid of? I'm afraid of no man. Um, so this is 23. Let's see. I need to do some quick math real quick. So I'm going to pull up the handy dandy calculator app on my computer if it will load because I've got so many different things running but let's see this is 7 that's 3k uh, that's 21 that's 4,000 this is so easy this is 7,000 exactly <laughs> uh, but if I lightning Chidori and do this and this um, if I lightning Chidori with these I'm gonna activate this first uh, so yeah I'm gonna lightning Chidori with the two weakest ones but it'll still be a 1900 monster so yeah it's super easy to be game um, super, super easy. <laughs> um, I'm losing my mind. And now, like, three calculators just opened. Thank God I've got OBS set to only, uh, to only, uh, pop up and show the, uh, the dueling screen, um, and omit literally everything else. Uh, but so I'm just gonna use this. I'm just gonna use this to, to spin this. Um, and then I can normal Elder, normal, um, normal Winda. And then that's just super game. That's just really game. His soul ch gamed by your own soul charge, my man. Well, not quite, but I mean, I can't do 8,000 here. Not under dimensional barrier calling fusion. Um, but I can do 7,700. <laughs> so we'll do that. Uh, this is the most busterish way I think I've ever seen myself win a game with ritual beasts. Yeah, this is literally just enough for game. That's so silly. <laughs> <laughs> that's ridiculous. I don't know how I like that one. But anyway, that's a video, I guess. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are in the comments down below. If you want to see more Ritual Beast games, just let me know. Uh, let me know by liking this video and commenting that you want to see more of it. And I definitely love this deck, so I'd be happy to play more of it if it's something that you guys want to see. The, the OG Zoo. The original Zoo. Uh, but basically, let me know what you guys think. But anyway, if you're curious as to getting onto my Discord server as well as potentially entering into some monthly giveaways. This month I'm going to be trying to give away a box of Raging Tempest, and then also potentially a second giveaway for a box of Fusion Enforcers at the end of the month. So if that's something you want to get in on, you can definitely go check out my Patreon page, as well as it's just a direct way to support me and show that you believe in the content that I'm creating and want to support my channel's growth now as well as into the future and maybe possibly have some insane projects pop up in terms of like live streaming locals live streaming regionals doing stuff like that um there's definitely something i'd be interested in doing i just do not have the financial capability to do so but if you want to help fund that with the uh, patreon thing then you could definitely do so and it's there for an option but other than that like comment subscribe to all the nonsense you usually do like i said if you like ritual beast and you want to see more of it let me know by liking the video and commenting down below but other than that thanks for your time as usual thanks for watching as always and take care guys i will see you in the next video